Hello, everyone. I am Michelle Lee, Vice President of the Machine Learning Solutions Lab at Amazon Web Services. The title of today's conference is Terra Incognita, a Latin phrase meaning unknown land. Until recently, machine learning was indeed Terra Incognita. However, today we are seeing machine learning applied successfully across virtually all industries and sectors, solving real world problems with impact. Based upon my experiences with countless customer engagements with Amazon's Machine Learning Solutions Lab, and my experiences as head of the United States Patent and Trademark Office, more on that later, I'd like to share with you a few examples of how machine learning is transforming organizations, as well as seven lessons on how you, as leaders in your organizations, can help inspire, identify, lead, and implement successful machine learning projects. But first, what do I mean by artificial intelligence or AI and machine learning? AI is the simple use of computers to simulate human intelligence. For example, the spell checker for your emails, the digital voice assistant in your home, robots programmed to perform a single task on a factory floor, or a computer program that plays chess against a human. Machine learning is a subset of AI that uses math and statistical processes to find patterns in data, creating models to make predictions and draw inferences about future occurrences and needs. For example, machine learning could help determine the likelihood of a customer purchasing a particular product based upon the customer's previous purchase history, as well as the product's past sales history. Machine learning is truly one of the most transformative technologies of our generation. But why now? There are three main reasons. Number one, the power of computing has increased significantly over the past several decades. Two, the price of computer storage has decreased significantly, which means we can and are now capturing much more data than ever before and computers can pour over the vast amounts of data to gain insights in ways that humans were never able. And lastly, the advent of the cloud made specialized computers required for machine learning available to all on a pay-as-you-go, pay-as-you-need basis versus in the past when this specialized computing was only available to a few well-funded companies and research institutions. So, as I share with you example use cases today, think about how machine learning might transform your organization. Let's look at an example. Formula One, a leader in the motorsports industry with 470 million unique viewers worldwide. The fans are passionate about the sport. The sport is filled with statistics, rankings and need for split-second insights to enhance race performance and for fans to better enjoy their viewing experiences of the races. Formula One came to my team at Amazon Web Services with the idea for the fastest driver project. They wanted to answer the intriguing, hypothetical, and previously unanswered question of who is the fastest driver of all times in Formula One racing even if the racers never raced in the same era. If Formula One could come up with such a ranking, they believed they could further drive significant fan engagement. And you know what? They were right. Let's take a look at this video. For 70 years, F1's fans have debated the ultimate question. Who is the fastest driver? But until now, we've had to form our own opinions from what we see on the track. And we've had no way of comparing our favorite drivers from across the eras. So who really is the fastest in Formula One? Introducing Fastest Driver, a new F1 Insight powered by AWS. It analyzes every qualifying lap in F1's data archive from 1983 to the present day and it tells us what the data says about how the drivers stack up. So how does it work? A machine learning algorithm takes times from every qualifying session in a driver's career. It removes any outlying laps, such as those affected by weather, 
and it compares them with the driver's teammate to eliminate the performance of the car. They are then matched against other drivers through a network of teammate relationships. Given a rank based on pure speed and a gap to the fastest driver in seconds. Using this new insight, we'll be able to see what the data says about how current drivers compare to F1's legends, where your favourites rank among the competition, who pushes their cars right to the edge, and which driver really is the fastest in Formula One. F1 Insights, powered by AWS. What a great video to capture Formula One's innovative use of machine learning. As a result, Formula One was able to publish its rankings of the fastest driver of all times. This triggered tremendous fan excitement and engagement worldwide, and even heated debates amongst fans, such as whether or not Senna was truly the fastest driver of all times in Formula One history, or was it really Schumacher or Hamilton? The success of the Formula One Fastest Driver project led to additional collaborations with Formula One, including predicting race qualification outcomes of drivers based upon practice runs, all of course using machine learning. So this gives you an idea of how one company has creatively used machine learning to accomplish its business goal. And it's not just Formula One in the sports vertical. We are seeing virtually every industry and sector take advantage of machine learning to improve customer experiences, to create more efficiencies in their operations, and to spur new innovations and discoveries. For example, helping researchers accelerate the discovery of new vaccines, enhancing agricultural output with better crop monitoring through computer vision, automating defect detection on a manufacturing line, and removing frictions in your grocery store shopping experience by using sensors and computer vision. So for example, when I walk into an Amazon Go store, I can literally pick up the items I want and walk outside without having to stop at a cashier to scan or pay for my items. With all this power, promise, and readiness of machine learning technology, why aren't more organizations taking advantage? Some are simply unaware of the ripeness of the technology. Others struggle to find the best machine learning use cases for their business. Some lack the talent and expertise on their team to implement the solutions. And many don't have easy compliant access to their data or a combination of all of the above. I know this firsthand. As in my prior job, I led a 200 plus year old governmental agency, the United States Patent and Trademark Office, whose products and services happen to be patents and trademarks. And let me just say the US Patent and Trademark Office was a bit behind the times in terms of digital transformation, cloud computing, and the use of artificial intelligence. Yet because of my training in AI and experiences with a big data company, I recognized the opportunity to transform the business of the US Patent and Trademark Office. I led my team to implement some basic AI and data analytics solutions to improve patent searches and the speed, quality, and consistency of the patents issued by the agency. And what I came to realize is, if the United States Patent and Trademark Office, a 200 plus year old governmental agency has artificial intelligence opportunities, so too does every organization, regardless of the industry or the sector. The challenge is to identify those opportunities and to have a team and a plan to implement them. And that's what inspires me to lead the Machine Learning Solutions Lab, whose mission is to envision the art of the possible and the art of the practical in machine learning with our customers to implement those solutions. We are a team of scientists, business consultants, and engineers who work with our customers to identify and implement their highest value machine learning use cases through discovery workshops, hands-on keyboard proofs of concept to illustrate viability, and implementation into production. We've done so 
for countless companies across a broad range of industries in a myriad of use cases. Here are just a few examples. Based upon these numerous customer engagements, I'd like to share with you today seven key lessons to achieve successful machine learning projects in your organizations. Lesson one, have the necessary data and even better, a comprehensive data strategy. Your machine learning model is only as good as the data it is trained on. Data is oftentimes cited as the number one challenge to adopting machine learning. In our experience, oftentimes more than half the time spent building machine learning models is actually spent wrangling, cleaning up, and pre-processing the data. If you don't invest in a data strategy, the machine learning scientists you hire to build the new models will spend an inordinate amount of time with data cleanup and management, or worse yet, getting frustrated because they lack what they need to get to the model building, training, and tuning. So, develop a good data strategy. There are three hallmarks of a good data strategy. Hallmark number one, data is viewed as an organizational asset not the property of the individual department or team that created or collected the data. We oftentimes see departments engage in what we call data hugging. The data that I gather is my data. As a leader in your organization, you need to break those data silos. Hallmark number two, data is democratized, meaning the data is available to anyone in the organization that needs it easily, securely, and in compliance with legal and regulatory requirements. The real hurdle we see is a simple inability to access the data that already exists within organizations. It's helpful to have access to all the relevant data, regardless of the data type, source, or location, whether in the cloud, on-prem, or on the edge. Hallmark number three, data is put to work through analytics and machine learning. We see customers gain tremendous advantage by combining data sets of different types from different parts of the organization using analytics and machine learning to make better predictions and to gain better insights. For example, in the area of medical diagnoses, combining patient medical history information with all prior lab results with machine learning models trained on millions of insurance claim records, including diagnostic codes and prescriptions, can enable doctors to identify earlier medical disorders for their patients even before clinical manifestation. So, how do you begin to develop a data strategy? There are three questions you need to ask yourself. What data is available to me today? What data is not available to me today, but that can be made easily available with a modest amount of effort? And lastly, what data is not available today, but as I look ahead one year from now, I know I'll want to have, and what steps should I take today to begin collecting that data? Keep in mind that data is an incredibly valuable asset of your organization. If you think about some of the world's most valuable and successful companies today, their most valuable assets are often their data, at least as valuable as their physical assets and even their intellectual property assets. So, be thoughtful and deliberate about your data and have a data strategy. Lesson two, carefully select your machine learning use case and define success metrics up front. This is actually where the Machine Learning Solutions Lab spends a lot of time with our customers in our half-day discovery workshops involving business leaders, technology leaders, and data owners. Some key factors to take into consideration include data readiness, business impact. Does this solve a real and significant problem for the business? Because if not, it will be doomed to be an expensive science experiment. Machine learning applicability. How applicable is machine learning to the problem compared to conventional rule-based computer solutions? If the problem is complex, requiring consideration of a myriad of fluctuating factors that must be performed at scale, then machine learning is likely a good match. 
For example, personalized recommendations of products to Amazon customers is a complex problem involving a myriad of fluctuating factors such as the individual, the geographic location, the time of year, and it must be scaled to hundreds of millions of Amazon customers. Simple if-then computer rules will not work. Machine learning is a good solution. Balance speed with value, especially if this is your organization's first machine learning project. Choose a use case where you can show traction in six to 10 months. You'll want to move fast and add value quickly to specific problem areas versus taking on large, sweeping, transformational projects with few indicators of progress. And clearly define your success metrics. Can you compare the performance of your machine learning model against your current system, either in terms of revenue impact, efficiency, or other metric? And consider ranking all potential use cases based upon these and other relevant factors for your business and choose the use case with the highest return on investment. As you consider the optimal machine learning use case for your organization, think broadly. Machine learning can be applied to many business challenges from enhancing customer experiences to improving productivity and operations that are complex, expensive, and labor intensive. For example, we talked about personalization of recommendations for products and services to customers. Call center intelligence, such as detecting customer sentiment based upon voice and language enabling sooner escalation to supervisors when needed. Automatically understanding the subject matter of the inquiry by perhaps time, date, and location. And on the side of improving operational efficiencies, what company doesn't have a need for intelligent and automated document processing? Or fraud detection, particularly if you are engaging in online sales, or better business forecasting of customer demand and supply chain needs? Let me share with you another example. Zomato is one of the world's largest online food delivery and restaurant aggregation companies in the world. Think DoorDash or Uber Eats. They serve 100 million plus users monthly across 10,000 cities. And they provide their customers with menus, user reviews of restaurants, as well as the ability to order food online and select the delivery option, whether it be for pickup or home office delivery. As you can imagine, their business boomed during the pandemic, with more restaurants pivoting from in-restaurant service to online ordering and takeout and delivery services. Zomato had to digitally ingest thousands of menus, and they wanted to do so automatically rather than manually. As you can imagine, the problem is, is that each menu has a different format, layout, font, location for price, image of dishes, and categories of food, whether that be appetizer, entree, dessert, or beverage. Zomato had to extract and understand all the relevant information from the myriad of menus and put them into a common format online for its users. My team used Amazon Textract to help automate Zomato's digitization of menus, allowing Zomato to onboard thousands of restaurants online faster, bypassing a previously labor-intensive, error-prone process. Lesson number three. Have your technical and domain experts working side by side. This is critical to help ensure successful implementation and ultimate adoption. This also helps close any culture gaps. It's human nature. If relevant stakeholders have a say in the identification of a problem, the creation of a solution, with the ability to provide feedback on the solution all along the way, everyone is much more likely to adopt the solution. One mistake we oftentimes see is that companies hire a bunch of data scientists who work in silos. They build a really innovative machine learning model, mostly as a proof of concept, that unfortunately rarely gets integrated into the business. Don't let this happen to your machine learning projects. When both teams are coming together early, their shared buy-in and adoption happens much more successfully and naturally. Lesson number four, executive sponsorship and a culture of experimentation are critical. 
I mentioned to you earlier, when I led the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, I was able to bring AI and data analytic techniques to help improve the operations of that organization. Let me share with you another example with Amazon. Over 10 years ago, Jeff Bezos asked every business leader at Amazon, irrespective of whether they ran a research team, a fulfillment center, or a human resources organization, how do you plan to leverage machine learning in your business? And I don't have a plan was not an acceptable answer. This forced leadership and domain experts and technical experts to work together to answer the question. Today, there's not a single business function at Amazon that isn't made better through machine learning. But this didn't happen overnight. It took a cultural and a technological shift with sponsorship from the very top. In addition to executive support, having the right corporate culture is key. Machine learning can be hard and takes time. Developing machine learning applications is an iterative process requiring experimentation. If your organization does not encourage experimentation, or if it treats failure as something to be avoided at all costs, this will be a significant barrier to applying machine learning effectively. Organizations must take a longer term view and tolerate initial underperformance as these models oftentimes don't work best fresh out of the box. But through iteration, training, and retraining with new and more data, you can produce the enhancements you are looking for. Lesson number five. Decide whether to build yourself or build with a partner. If you build, you'll want to assess the talent on your team. Given the market and scarcity of talent, many organizations may not have or be able to hire all the data scientists they need to achieve their machine learning goals. And doing so can be expensive. So focus on training your workforce in addition to hiring. That's what we did at Amazon. We both hired new talent and developed our existing talent. Amazon developed Machine Learning University to train our engineers, and much of this content is available for free online. We also developed the Machine Learning Essentials training course to provide our business leaders, not just our technologists, with what they need to know about machine learning. Alternatively, if you decide not to build yourself, consider a partner such as Amazon's Machine Learning Solutions Lab with a global team of data scientists who can help you identify your highest return on investment machine learning use cases through discovery workshops, building proofs of concept to show viability, and implementation into production. Lesson six, free your team from the undifferentiated heavy lifting and invest in the right infrastructure to support development and production. At Amazon, we've created services that remove the undifferentiated heavy lifting and put machine learning in the hands of all. We meet our customers wherever they may be in their machine learning journey and provide pre-trained services in areas such as computer vision, speech processing, document processing, personalization, and more. In addition to these tools, we provide tools for expert data scientists. So, Take advantage of the existing tools and services and focus your team's efforts in areas where they provide unique value and domain expertise. Let me share with you an example of how Latte Mart leveraged existing machine learning tools to accelerate the delivery of an impactful machine learning solution. Latte Mart sells groceries, clothing, toys, electronics, and other goods to over 600,000 daily shoppers across 189 stores in Korea, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Latte Mart wanted to drive new product sales. Their legacy solution relied upon rule-based recommendations which only recommended products that a customer had previously bought, but not new products that were being added to its hypermarket daily. Latte Mart wanted to add machine learning, but did not have the time or the resources to build the custom models in-house. Using Amazon Personalize, a pre-trained AI service, Latte Mart analyzed sales history, product metadata, and user profiles to improve coupon recommendations to its customers. 
Latte Mart achieved a 5x increase in response to recommended products compared to their legacy system, resulting in a 40% increase in new product purchases. Lesson seven, plan for the long term. Machine learning is not just one and done. Plan to periodically retrain, update, and maintain your machine learning models with new data as the world around you changes. Implement your solution in parts and in phases, allowing you to move fast to show value quickly on specific problem areas, while also moving toward your larger machine learning goals. Set the expectations properly with your leadership, board, and team. Machine learning is a longer-term investment. You must be tolerant of initial underperformance. As we discussed, many of the models do not work best fresh out of the box. But through training and more data, your machine learning solution can outperform your old system. So, since machine learning requires data gathering, experimentation, and a longer-term horizon, the time to get started is now. I want to leave with you a summary of the seven lessons we covered today. Number one, have the necessary data and a comprehensive data strategy. Number two, carefully select your use cases, taking into account the five factors we discussed and other relevant factors to your business. Three, bring together your technical and domain experts so that they are working side by side. Four, make sure you have the necessary executive sponsorship and a culture of experimentation within your organization. Five, decide on your implementation approach. Six, don't do the undifferentiated heavy lifting. And seven, plan for the long run. And importantly, get started now. And remember, you don't have to go it alone. Machine learning, while still in its early days, is not terra incognita an unknown land. Finding the right partner can be key. Amazon started the Machine Learning Solutions Lab because we believe machine learning has the ability to transform every industry and every sector. Remember, if the United States Patent and Trademark Office, a 200 plus year old governmental agency, has an artificial intelligence opportunity, so too likely does your organization we have successfully helped many customers from Formula One to Zomato to Latte Mart and many more. Let us know what we can do to help you. Thank you.